Hello everyone, on this tutorial for COBOL I will be looking at variables. Like all computer programs, COBOL needs variables. Variables are things that can change within the program and so they're, they're not constants. What we've got here is uh, we've got this simple program um, that adds two numbers together and it does the adding here and it does the asking up here so we've got within this paragraph we have display which is going to display enter a number we have accept which is a verb display and accept are verbs in COBOL and what it's going to do is it's going to accept whatever is entered in by the user and it's going to place it in first number. Now first number is declared up here and it's declared uh, level one. I'm not really going to talk about that right now. We're just going to focus on the fact that it's named and it uses this keyword picture is and we've got 99 so I'm going to explain what all of this is so if I first if we look at this data set a data division has in it working storage section and this is where you're going to put your variables so we're going to declare the variable names first number second number and the result and then we've got this strange thing here picture is now picture is is a way of declaring that it's going to be a variable in this case and a numeric variable not an alphanumeric variable now we've got these 99s and this one's got three nines what's that about well the 99 is the number of digits that this variable holds because it has to declare how much memory it's going to use basically so first number is going to hold digits up to 99 and it won't go any further than that so 99 is the maximum that it can hold this one is going to be 99 the maximum it's going to be holding so if you try to put a thousand into this variable when it comes up in in this terminal over here it's not going to like that obviously this needs to have more memory because if you have 99 plus 99 then you're going to need more than um three you're going to need more than two digits you're going to need three at least so you can you have to go 99 it all goes in nines now there, there's a lot more that goes with this so if we go back to this working storage section Right. what you're doing is you are declaring to the compiler details of the variables such as its name as I said its level I said about that as well but I'm not going to go into it and the size of the variable and that's what the 99 bit is there and also the type of the variable so this 99 is declaring the type of the variable too because otherwise you would put X's in there now with the numerical values you can have 18 nines in there because that would be the maximum amount that it can hold if we're going to talk about alphanumerical ones then that really depends upon what version of COBOL you are using so if you are using LPI COBOL, then that can take 32,767 characters. If you're using ACU COBOL, it can take 65,520 characters. If you're using professional micro focus, and that, that's different from micro focus personal. This is like, you know, a more sort of bigger substantial version that can take 256 million characters. 
I'm sure you can imagine if you're writing loads of code, if you're someone that writes loads of code, you're thinking, my word, this is this is a lot of effort writing all of this stuff out. So what you can actually do is you can shorten it. And you can you can shorten it to a uh, pick. But first of all, I'm gonna show you the program running just so just so you can see that it works. Here we go. Now it comes up, enter a number. So if I enter, let's do a foul first, see what happens there. Enter another number. Is right now, see it doesn't like it. It doesn't like it because you've put in values that are more than you have declared it can hold. It doesn't actually throw an error, it just gives you an incorrect result, which is, is like, you know, not something that you would really, really want. So if I do that again, and this time I'm gonna do something sensible. So if I do 80, and I'm gonna put 20 in there and see what it does. And it can handle that, it can handle that fine. Another thing that you will need to know about is leading zeros. So in some versions of COBOL, the leading zeros don't matter, but in other versions they do. So the coding convention is to use leading zeros. Otherwise, if your code is being compiled somewhere else in another version of COBOL, where leading zeros are important, then it won't fail. By leading zeros, and what do I mean? Well, if I do that and enter, and now I do that and enter, and then we get the result. And you see, it's actually given a, a leading result back in the answer as well. So that's kind of helpful. So I said that we could shorten this picture is, and what we can do is we can take out the is, and in fact, we can take it right back to pick. So we can make this pick, and we can make this pick as well. But it doesn't just stop there. Remember I was saying that you could have up to 18 of these nines? Well, you can short, shorten that as well. So you would have, let's say you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what you would do is you would shorten it. So you have nine at the front. And then you would say how many nines you want. So that is the same as having ten nines. Well, we only want two. So I'm do two, and I am going to do the same for this one. And this one, I'm gonna change so it's three. Now that we've shortened it, let's test it to see if it works. So save the file. And I'm going to have to compile the file again. And now run the file. And it's asking me for a number. So 23. And I'm going to put another 23 in. So that should be 46. And there it is. It's worked fine. So let, let's go back to here and uh, see if we can put, we put some more numbers in there. Um, now, before, it didn't work, did it? It didn't work, so I'm going to make that bigger too. Um, when I tried to put three digits in, it wouldn't work. So I'm going to try this one. I'm going to click over here. What's that? Now it's enter a number. No, one, two, three. Enter another one, two, three and it gives us a result. That's how you declare variables. Working storage, you put your variables in working storage. You can shorten picture is 
to this shorthand and these are declaring what it is. It's declaring that it's a variable and it's declaring that it's alphanumerical. If I wanted to make it uh, something else, like uh, let's make these all X's. Now let's see what it does. And it runs an error. It gives an error because it's trying to add together two strings. And remember that the plus sign doesn't mean concatenate in this language. To sum up what we've looked at today, within the four divisions, you have the data division, which holds the working storage section, where you have variables. The variables are declared by using O1 to indicate a level first number which is the name of the variable picture is which could be shortened to pig which indicates that it's going to be a variable it's how you declare a variable and you then indicate how many digits you want by using nines and if you're using uh, numerical values then you can have 18 digits and if you're using alphanumerical, it depends on your uh, version of COBOL. It can have a lot more. You can't declare an alphanumeric value as a number and expect to be able to treat it as a number by summing up things. It will be a string. The other things that we looked at is um, display and accept are verbs and accept is going to ask for user input which is then stored in the variable which is declared up here and display is going to output uh, to your console to ask for some information or present some information. So that's it for today. Keep coming back to this channel and I will show you some more about COBOL. But for now, I want you to mess around with the code and to make it easier on yourself, remember to use the format, source format free bit at the, at the top. I haven't done it here. But, you know, th that will make things a lot easier for yourself while you're just messing around getting to learn the code and just make some simple programs with the information that you've got from these last few videos. Peace be with you.